Hey guys, it's going to be again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you all more content. Today I'm pretty excited because I'm going to continue the image tracking with Magic Leap. I show you how to do image tracking on one object in the previous video. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is doing some refactoring to that implementation, create a new script and actually make it work with multiple targets. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right, guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing, which is to refactor the implementation of image tracking we did before. And the reason why I want to do that is because it only supports one prefab at a time, meaning that we can only place one target at the image detected position. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clone the scene that we have right now, and then we're going to be cloning the scripts as well, and then making it work with multiple images. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my scenes, I'm going to go into image tracking, I'm going to duplicate it. And this one is going to be image tracking multiple. I also always tell everyone that I put this in GitHub. So this one is not going to be an exception. It's going to be in GitHub as well. So make sure that you check that in the link of the description. All right. So now that we have that, I can go ahead and go to file, build settings, and I'm going to add that as a scene as well. I'm going to make sure that it's checked so that when we build it on the device, I can test it. All right. So now let me go ahead and look at some a couple of things in here. I'm going to name this one multiple as well so that we can keep it consistent. And then I'm going to go into my scripts and I already have an image tracking and let me make sure that I can find it somewhere in here. And I might not be looking at the right folder. Maybe. Oh, okay. Image tracker. That's what I call it. Okay. So now let's go ahead and duplicate it and I'm going to call it image tracker multiple. Awesome. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let me actually close out of code so that everything recompiles successfully. Reopen it. And yeah, it's complaining because then the same name matches. So another class. So we're just going to go ahead and rename this one to image tracker multiple. All right. And this is going to right now, it's going to require that we move a couple of things in here. So if you look at this, this is an ML image tracker behavior, but it's only one. And also the target prefab is only one and the target objects as well. So we're going to have to refactor this and then create another class that can hold our ML image tracker behavior, also our target prefab and our target object. So this is very similar to what Magic Leap did. They, they do support multiple, but I wanted to go through the process so that you understand what it requires. So for now, let's go ahead and add a new class here. I'm going to be moving this to a file, but I want to keep things in one file so that we can see what we're doing. And then I'm just going to call it, let's just call it image tracker. And let me see what I can call it. We can say image tracking object. I think that's fine. And then I'll just go ahead and inherit that as well from mono behavior. Perfect. And then the, the other thing that I'm going to need is also class. Make sure that you put class in it. All right. So the next thing that I'm going to need is I'm going to have to move this one up because I want to, I want to have these be in this class. So I'm just going to move it up and then let me see what else we're going to need to move. We're going to need to move the target prefab and also the target object. So we're going to move those up. Awesome. And then the other things that I want to move is I want to be able to start the tracker, but everything that is happening on the capture, it's going to happen at the other object. It's not going to happen here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this up as well. Let me move it here. This is going to be start capture, but it's going to be on the independent object. And then I'm going to need to move the, the independent methods. So I think this is fine that we can leave this one here because it's going to start the tracker. And let me see what else we need to move. And then we need to move some of these events. So, I'm going to move the on target found, also the on target lost, and then the on target updated. Let's move all of those up. Perfect. And then, of course, the debug.log is not going to be available at this level. And I can actually, I can make it available by just adding a new property to it so that it can write to it as well. So we can just write to it. Perfect. And I think we have most of everything that we need. The star capture can also be 
in, at this level actually so what I'm gonna do let me just make sure I start tracking it's going to be get past it's gonna need to be passing so also the image tracking status is gonna have to be passed so let me actually move this as well I'm gonna move these up all right I think so far so good and then we just need this boolean that it's going to be triggered when we start it so this is going to be start capture but it's it's going to be executed at the very beginning we can just say private let's actually make a public public void start and we can call the star just trying to think what's the best way because we're going to go the we're going to call the star capture as soon as everything starts and we finish basically setting up the privileges but i don't want to call i don't want to do this I, I can do this right now right away but i want to do this as soon as somebody hits the trigger button so we can just say this could be set up and this could be starting that makes more that makes more sense and then this one can actually be a public as well we're going to make it available and then this one right here is just going to have a start tracking variable so i'm just going to say private and then bool and then start tracking it's going to be false by default and then when we do a start we're going to say true and then we can just do just to keep this consistent we can just say stop here and we can say false all right i think and then let me see what else we can do then what i'm going to do on these two i'm going to set them on on the stop i'm going to set it to false so we can disable a tracker basically so that we don't track anything okay so i think we got everything there that we need then what i'm going to do in this class is now that we have that we're not going to need this because it's going to be handled by the parent class or actually call the child class because we're going to have an array of them and then we, we're not going to need any of this because i just removed those also the on destroy this is also need to happen on the on the other class so I'm gonna go here and actually do void on destroy. And then we'll just do that in here. So when this game object gets destroyed, this is when we're gonna be unbound, unbounding from, from these events. Okay, so I think we're good. And let me just go down and make sure that I have. So this one we're gonna do at the image tracker multiple level. I think that's fine. This right here, this Boolean, it's not gonna happen at this level it's going to happen at the child level but we're going to change that so i think i think we have everything that we need so now what i'm going to do is instead of using this class we're going to be using the one that we just basically we just created and it is called image tracking object so let me go into that and i'm going to say image and it's going to be an array so we're just going to say image tracking objects we're also going to serialize it because i want to make sure that i set this up at that level at the inspector level and then we can just go ahead and get rid of these properties and i think we're good start tracking remember it's going to happen at the other level so we can get rid of it so and then what i'm going to do as well here is i want to make these ones this component here this behavior is going to be required because i otherwise it's going to it's not going to be useful so i'm going to add it at that level and then let me just go down so if I'm going too fast, go ahead and pause the video and then go back and, and watch that part again, just to make sure that you don't miss anything. All right, so at this level, we're gonna have the status, we're gonna have the debug log, we're gonna have an array of image tracking objects, controller connection handler, and then our privilege requester so that we can access the camera. And then, okay, so now that we're at this level, I'm gonna have to tell the system to start capturing but instead of just doing this start capture here we're going to have to look through the through everything that we have so this start capture is what used to do the, be the setup so actually let me go up it used to it's actually the setup that we just changed so what we're going to do here we're just going to do for each and then we can just say image tracking object image tracking object in image tracking objects so we'll just look through through them and then we'll just go ahead and set the setup. So we're gonna set up every single ML tracking behavior. So we're just gonna say setup ML tracking. It's actually called ML image tracking behavior. 
So this is going to set them up. It's going to bind them. It's going to start them. It's going to bind to the to the methods, the the focus, the unfocus, and actually I don't think it's called focus and unfocus. I'm thinking of something else. It's actually called on target found, on target lost, but you know what I mean, on target updated. So that's what's going to do that part. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing here. It is when we hit the trigger uh, button, we're going to call the start. Perfect. And then here we're just going to say start tracking. And then we'll do the same thing here on the on destroy. This one is going to be start. And then on destroy, it's going to be stop. And we can just say make sure stop. There we go. And then stop tracking. I think that's honestly everything. I didn't know it was going to be that easy. But now the next thing that we need to do is just do more setup on the on the other side on the Unity side. So the next thing that I want to do, I don't want to have this in this class. I want to have this on its own class. So let me go ahead and copy everything here. And I'm gonna create a new I'm gonna create a new class. So let me I'm gonna just go ahead and duplicate this one. This one can be called the image tracker object. So I'm just gonna rename it, just call it that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove everything that we have on the multiple. Because this one is gonna be on its own class. Okay, this looks good. Then on this tracking image tracker multiple, I'm going to remove the header section because we're going to use the the actual image tracker multiple class. All right, so everything should compile. Let me just check this one right here. Make sure everything is clean. Okay, so I think everything is clean. All right, so now what I need to do is we're going to go into the let's go into Unity and make sure that we set things correctly. And I think everything that we shouldn't have any errors. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this object. And this is going to be, this first one is going to be one. And then we're going to have a number two as well. Now I'm going to go into textures and then we should have a frame two, which I have right here. It's going to add it. So frame one and frame two are going to be, you know, two different controllers. These are just two frames that I bought that I, that I really like. And then I'm going to just set this to none and then also read and write enable and then remove uncheck the generate meet maps. And then I'm going to hit apply. Now all the properties should be matching up and everything is matching up. So I'm going to go into two and associate game frame underscore two and everything should be, everything should be good. Awesome. So now what I need to do is these objects, if I go into my, let's go into my image tracking multiple. This one I need to make some changes because I'm actually not using that one anymore. I'm going to use another component, which is going to be the image tracker multiple. And I'm going to move this up, move it up. So let me go ahead and bind our UI so that we can get all of that connected. Image tracking status is going to be bound to image tracking status. Debug.log is going to be connected with debug.log. And then this is really important because now we're going to be tracking multiple objects. So I'm going to set this to two and I'm going to grab my frame here and look, it didn't really work. The reason why that didn't really work is because this one are going to need, they're going to need the component that we just created. So I'm going to need to add the image tracking object and then I'm going to do the same thing on this one, image tracking object. Now these ones are going to require more information. So they're going to require the ML image tracker behavior. So I'm going to connect that. They're also going to require a target prefab and we can just use the same prefab that I did for the other video. Let me just hook everything else and then we can go ahead and add that as well. Okay, let me go into frame two and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add this component here, the debug.log, I'm going to add it here and then my status, I'm going to add it here. Okay, so now for the ta target prefab, let me see what I, what I use for the other one. And let me make sure that I select the same thing. I think I actually put it under prefabs here as well. Yeah, I did. So I'm just going to use that one as well. So I'm going to do the sphere primitive. And then also let's do that one for this one. And I think that should be everything that we need. And what I'm going to do here, we can just say tracking multiple example so that we, we can have something different on this, on the title. Let me just do 26. Well, actually 25 was perfect 
And then this is an example using image tracking functionality with a common logo, you can print it out. So this is actually not true. This is an example of using image tracking functionality with multiple, multiple free prefabs and using a new array implementation of tracking objects. Okay, so I think that's good. And what I'm gonna do, so that's see this thing should be done. Then what I'm gonna do is let me go into the other one so that we have the proper title. This is an example of using image tracking functionality with one prefab. We can just say with a single prefab and a single image object. All right, so I think that should be everything. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions about anything that I'm doing, let me know. And I'm also going to be checking this into GitHub. So let me know in the comments if you need help with anything. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. You can also find me in Patreon.com where I'm basically posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes and also early access source code. Thank you very much, guys.